first of all uh, we have to identify the device here and in this particular case we have to see the uh, image in every detail actually so sometime what happen you get the answer in your image itself for example here it's written cable diagnosed dent so uh, let's consider we don't see this or it is hidden and then we have to identify the device right so yes the device generally there is a panel and then there will be a code and then there will be a handpiece sign kind of thing okay and it is painted black okay here you'll be seeing yes uh, there will be a peak there is movement okay these are the things which we can see here now uh, I'll just try to uh, give an overview of the diagnodent before I get into the depth of this question. So the diagnodent basically is a variant of quantitative laser or light induced fluorescence system. So that is an advancement of the quantitative laser or light induced fluorescence system that is one thing which we have to understand now what will be the light source yes that can be laser or any light source and that can the diode laser is going to emit the red light and it should fall in that wavelength actually and the wavelength is going to be 655 nanometer that is important now this red light is transported via an uh, angulated tip with central fibers and then there will be a reflected light that is eliminated by and taken up by photodiode and processed and presented on the display. So basically there will be a center fiber and that will be passing coming out of the diode and that will be transported via an angulated tape inside this tape there will be a central fiber kind of thing right and that will be traveling and then the light will be reflected and then it will be taken up by the photodiode and it is going to process and then you will be having the signal that will be seen on the display now the signal on the display can be between 0 to 99 and what these signals generally mean if it is between 5 to 25 so you can say that there is initial lesion in enamel if you see the reading between 25 to 35 then there is going to be initial dental caries or we can say dentinal caries better right Basically, 5 to 25 is going to be related to enamel, then there will be initial dentinal caries. And if it is more than 35, then you are going to have the advanced dentinal lesion. lesions. Okay. So, this is how you can diagnose with the diagnodent. So, here you will see the angulated tip is there, and there will be a central fiber that is running to it, and there is diode inside it that will be emitting a light of around 655 nanometer and then you'll be getting some display here and this particular display is going to tell you the reading so if it is between 5 to 25 it can be 25 to 35 it can be about 35 and you can find out the inference from here so basically the answer to this question is going to be diagnosed and uh, if we just uh, discuss about the recent advances in the caries diagnosis then there are uh, various other methods also for example we have dye and haste dye and haste laser fluorescent now this particular instrument has higher sensitivity than the laser auto fluorescence alone and dye use which we uh, use here are going to be pyro methane 556 and then sodium fluorescent these are the dye which we use in the dye and his laser fluorescence then another way uh, for diagnosing is going to be your endoscope in case of endoscope when you are trying to 
find out the carrier's laser a blue light blue light is generally between 400 to 500 nanometer right and it is used to excite fluorescence within the tool and if at uh, uh, if you just uh, see this particular endoscope you will be putting the blue light there so you will be having an advantage of having it 5 to 10 fold magnification and that's why you can easily find out the carrier's laser in the case of endoscope as well then there are other methods for example the dye penetration method in the dye penetration method there are methods which are used for enamel and there are methods which are used for denting so uh, for enamel carries if you just uh, try to understand so the dye which we use is going to be your prosium and the calcium and then we have fluorescent dye that is going to be brilliant blue or it can be zycto zx zycto zx same way for dentinal carries we have 0.5% basic fusion in propylene glycol and we can also have 1% acid red in propylene glycol so these are the various methods for determining the dentin carries or diagnosing the dentin carries now i'll just show you the figure of other now this is going to be the oximeter and that helps in finding out the vitality of the pulp of the tooth yes that is, a, that is still uh, under experimentation but yes that is a technique which is very promising because uh, vitality is basically has to reflect the vitality of the pulp the blood vessels and this particular oximeter uh, measures the vitality of the blood vessels same way you have electric pulp tester in the electric pulp tester yes you will be having one no or tip and you will be having a vent that will be used here and here you will be having the uh, reading then you have the apex locator now this apex locator is used for measuring the working length now in this also you will have a display then there will be a code and there will be one vent that is used there to complete the circuit and there will be one knob or holder that is used for hold, holding the K file so these are the various other instruments which are given here so images have been discussed and you can read the given explanation at the bottom so coming back to the question yes there is no doubt about it this is going to be your diagnostic.